I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. I ate a lot of things that night. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. My Halloween candy was all gone. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. The babies were all gone. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. A mama rabbit. She was almost too big to carry.
Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Dana's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Yeah. 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 